The male sexual response is a complex physiological process involving distinct phases, arousal and erection, emission, and ejaculation. Each phase is regulated by intricate interactions between the nervous, vascular, and endocrine systems, culminating in sexual satisfaction and reproductive function. Arousal and erection. Sexual arousal begins with psychological or physical stimulation, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. The brain sends signals via the pelvic nerves to the penis, triggering the release of nitric oxide. This molecule relaxes the smooth muscles of the penile arteries, allowing increased blood flow into the corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum. As these erectile tissues engorge, the expanding veins are compressed, trapping blood and causing rigidity. Tactile stimulation further enhances this reflex, maintaining erection through continued neural feedback. Emission. As arousal intensifies, the sympathetic nervous system initiates the emission phase. The reproductive organs, including the prostate, seminal vesicles, and vas deferens, contract rhythmically, mixing sperm with seminal fluid to form semen. This mixture is propelled into the prostatic urethra, creating a sensation of impending ejaculation, orgasmic inevitability. The internal urethral sphincter contracts to prevent retrograde flow into the bladder, ensuring semen moves forward. Ejaculation. The final phase is ejaculation, a two-part process involving muscular contractions. First, the bulbospongiosis and isiocavernosus muscles contract rhythmically, expelling semen through the urethra in spurts, climax. This is accompanied by intense pleasurable sensations mediated by the pudendal nerve. Following ejaculation, the sympathetic system induces detumescence, loss of erection, as blood flow normalizes and a refractory period begins during which further arousal is temporarily impossible. These phases ensure successful sexual function, balancing pleasure and reproductive biology through precise neurovascular coordination.